Real Madrid comfortably beat Unicaja. A brilliant outside gameplay helped the leaders thrash their hosts in a superb final quarter. Caja Laboral were made to sweat for their 10th successive league win. Zantabek's side overcame a resilient Zaragoza. Barcelona dug deep to fight back against Blancos de Rueda, with Pete Mikael and Marcelino Huertas the stars, when Labrada and Caja Sol also fought back in their respective games to collect vital wins. As always, we end our show with the top seven Kia plays. Hello and welcome to this week's Liga Endesa magazine. It's round 18. Here are the results from round 18 of the Liga Endesa. Real Madrid beat Unicaja on the road, 67-91. Caja Laboral left it late to beat Zaragoza. When Labrada caused the upset of the round with their triumph at home to Valencia. Barcelona were made to work hard for the win at home to Blancos de Rueda. And Caja Sol's fine run continues with a win at Murcia. Real Madrid beat Unicaja in the big game of the weekend. The league leaders, who were unstoppable, won thanks to a superb second-half performance. The first two quarters were tight. The hosts were led by Luka Zoric. The Croatian topped the scoring charts with 20 points. Real, who hit 13 three-pointers, caused Unicaja plenty of problems from outside the perimeter. A combination of Carroll, Liol and Suarez kept Pablo Laszlo's side in front. The visitors led at the interval. Despite the best efforts of Luka Zoric, the leaders strengthened their hold on the game following the restart. Sergio Rodriguez was outstanding for the Whites. Real Madrid hit 19 straight points during a huge scoring run in the decisive quarter. That's now four straight defeats for Unicaja. As for Real Madrid, their brilliant run of form continues. Caja Laboral beat Zaragoza to pick up their 10th straight league win. There was very little to choose between the two teams. It was Caja Laboral who managed to build up the lead, thanks to 14 points from Magis Lampe. Brad Olison, the side's best performer, was pivotal in the club's dramatic win. At one stage it looked like the hosts had won it, but Pablo Aguiar wasn't done yet. He scored 21 points as Zaragoza took the lead. With just 90 seconds remaining, the home side trailed their rivals by five points. Nemanja Bielica started the comeback. Zaragoza's offence spurned chances to defend their advantage, while at the other end, Odison converted a series of free throws to hand Cajalaboral the lead once more. Jose Luis Abos' side had the final possession, but Sam Van Rossum failed to connect for Zaragoza. Caja's latest victory sets a new record for successive wins by a new head coach, taking over with the season already underway. <music> when Labrada shocked Valencia basket to win 72-69. Dubljevic and Dolman helped Valencia into an eight-point lead. The locals fought their way back into the game thanks to a terrific Feldheim. Feldheim hit 37 points and dished out four assists. The crowd were on their feet as their team fought off Valencia. There was no stopping James Feldine though, who hit seven three-pointers in the win. Dubljevic, however, didn't throw in the towel as he struck 20 points, but his Valencia team were left empty-handed. Valencia basket remained third in the standings. Bilbao Basket beat Gran Canaria to move above the Islanders in the standings. The Basques were a different team after the break. They hit 10 quick points without reply. Alex Mumbrew was in inspired form for the hosts. 
Alex Havel and Lamont Hamilton dominated the paint as the Basque looked on course for another comfortable victory. But Gran Canaria wouldn't crack. Five three-pointers in the final period, with Newley and Bayern on target, lifted Canaria to within just three points of their hosts. Alex Mumbrew wasn't finished though, he hit 18 points and was at the heart of a 10-2 scoring run during the final four minutes of the last quarter. Bilbao have a better head-to-head -head basket average than Gran Canaria, so leapfrog above them in the standings.